Hey everyone, it's Anthony back with another video and today we're doing something a little bit different. I'm going to call this, uh, this is how we do it. <laughs> um, essentially just a little bit, not necessarily a tutorial, but from my beginner's perspective, how I go about doing certain things. And of course, there's always going to be room for improvement and growth, but I wanted to essentially do a little bit of a, you know, this is kind of how I do this thing. So, you know, if it's uh, something that you've been wondering about or, you know, trying to figure out how you approach it, um, I'm just going to go through what I think might work best for me. And then, um, you know, feel free to take any um, information from it as you wish. Um, just a heads up, we've got, um, the AC unit installed, which connects through the outdoor window, so you're going to hear potentially traffic, background noise, um, and then I've also got Apollo back here, and he's teething on a little teething ring right now, so you might hear him doing his puppy breathing and gnawing on, <laughs> gnawing on his little teething ring, so my apologies for that background noise. Um, if it's particularly bad, I might throw in a little bit of background music just to kind of keep us company and drown some of that out. But anyway, what are we doing today? Um, one of the things that I wanted to do early on in um, working with diamond paintings and getting more comfortable was doing some embellishments using um, Aurora Borealis drills. So I went to DP with Sparklers um, and Tima. Um, that is a company that sells a lot of glow in the dark and Aurora Borealis drills, a bunch of different specialty drills. So um, I heard about that um, her and that brand um, pretty early on when I was um, looking into trying to add my own diamonds or drills to kits outside of what already comes in the kit. And so I ended up getting this sampler pack. And then as you purchase um, kits and different things from Etsy sellers and online, they'll sometimes send you little sample packs of their drills or sample packs of diamonds from other companies. So I've just been collecting all of them in this bag, but then I haven't really been utilizing them because I don't know all of the DMC codes by heart of what I have in here or really what I have. So I wanted to essentially kit them up and get them into a space where I can keep track of them um, and be able to reference them when I'm working on a kit to grabbing maybe an AB color and deciding if it's something that I want to use on that canvas. So here I have my little Ziploc baggie or my, you know, my um, bag with the all the drills can see that some of them have, I don't know if you can see it, but we've got some that have leaked. Um, so we'll have to figure out where those go. I think it might be this 337 here. Um, and then the other tools that I have are my funnel, so I can funnel those into the containers. I also have um, some storage container kits here. Um, I've been, I picked these boxes up off of Amazon. And so if I can find the link to them, I'll link them, but it's just like a snap. And then you've got 28 of these little canisters, little pill box kind of style inside. Can you see? that yep and then those just flip open open so I only use these for storage because these I could see them getting a little flimsy over time so I want to not be constantly opening and closing them so you can see that this one already has some ABs these are ABs from um, from Diamond Art Club so they aren't done by the I don't believe they're done by the actual DMC code so I'm gonna make an amendment to those stickers um, can you see that? There we go. I'm going to put AB in that, the number and then put DAC. That way I know those are my DAC ones. I'm probably going to have to buy more of these or I'm going to have to figure out if there's a site that does the, um, the Diamond Art Club AB conversion to the actual DMC because um, that was throwing me off. So you can see down here, I'm just going to write DAC. DAC, because I don't believe the numbers that are on there, 113, 126, are the actual DAC, DAC, are the actual DMC codes. They think that's something special to Diamond Art Club. Let's see if that'll focus. Come on, come on, there you go. So just a DAC on those. So I'm gonna set that aside and use that if I need to. Other um, tools that I have with me for this project include um, some labels. Let me grab those. They're just the labels that came with these containers. So I've got um, some sheets of those. Whoopsie. A little bonus one. Um, so some sh sheets of labels to use. And then we've also got um, scissors and a dryer sheet just in case we have any static in these bags. So that's all I have. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. And so what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and open this up. 
and just start going through these. I'm gonna do my best to organize them by DAC number, or I'm sorry, oh my gosh, that's gonna really mess me up. DMC code. Um, so that way they're in some semblance of an order. Um, here we have some rounds. So I'm gonna hold on to, um, I think these are, these might be, I don't know, these aren't rounds. They're crystal dazzlers. I don't know if these are the um, sparklers for squares or not. I don't think so. I think these are just round dazzlers for round paintings. So I'm not gonna kit those up because I'm only doing my squares right now. Apollo, do not chew on my shoe. Get your toy. Oh my gosh. He is like, he is chewing everything. I'll just say that. <laughs> but it's okay. He's a puppy. That's what puppies do. So um, it looks like this, um, this uh, sample did not have any sort of color or like, is this for squares? Is this just rounds? And there's only a few, so I'm not going to kit those up. I'm probably going to toss those. Um, or give them away to friends. This is Sparklers for Squares original. Once again, very small amount. I'll, I'll hold on to them, but I'm not going to kit them up. So let's see what else we have. Another one that's just loose, um, doesn't give you the what it actually is. So I'm going to set those aside. Ooh, 5200 ABs. I have plenty of those. Okay, um, let's see what else we got in here. So yeah, I'm just gonna go through and organize these. Here's um, some that I got from Distracted by Diamonds. These are square 310 ABs. Um, so yeah, just gonna try to do this by color. There's our 300s. And we'll see how long this takes me. Um, if it takes me too long, I might just speed through it for your, for your benefit. <laughs> that way you don't have to see all of it. And then when, when you come back, I'll have them all sorted. Um, yeah, I'm actually just going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and get these sorted. I'll do it double time um, that way, or something like that with maybe a little bit of background music. And then when you come back, um, we will have had these sorted. So I'm going to just stop chatting for a little bit. Okay, um, so we are all set. It looks like I've got everything set up. It looks like this 30, uh, 352 was our culprit. There's a tear at the bottom of the bag, so I've got some here, some on the table. I had tried to catch some of them in this baggie, I guess, when I had finish the unboxing. Um, so that's what we've got. So we're going to start with lowest number to highest number going through and then we'll finish with our um, some of our even more specialty specialty, which we'll we'll talk about. I've got them sitting just a little off camera over here. So um, let's see if we can get a whole bag into one of these containers. I haven't really tested to see, um, you know, the um, like the capacity of them. So what I've been doing is just popping that in there. And then it looks like my first one is going to be, um, this is 210. This is our lowest number. It's a really pretty kind of lavender. So there's that. And then my goal was to be able to just go bloop right into the container or into the funnel and get all those out. Okay. And then successfully tap them through. Let's see how well this works. Okay, okay, not too bad, not too bad. Boom, all right, cool. So now that they're in there and in their container, um, I'm gonna go ahead and take one of my little sticker sheets, so this and a marker, and I'm just gonna write on it AB, and since I know these are all um, DMC codes, I'm just gonna write 210, because that shouldn't fluctuate, ideally. So then we'll just uh, pop that on here and you can see that. There you go, AB210. Awesome, so one down. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of my, what I, how I've been kitting down my regular kits, but like I said, I've had these ABs for a few weeks at least, maybe even a month. The, um, and I was like, ooh, I'll get those in and I'll start looking at all my canvases and deciding where those are gonna go, um, you know, when I when I 
go to kit up, I'll have these and I'll say, ooh, I'd, I'd love to see some ABs here or embellish that a little bit. But then I go to do it and I'm like, oh, um, they're just all stuffed in that Ziploc bag and I don't want to fuss with it. I'm just going to get started and just do the kit as it was given. And I think I've done that now twice. Oh my gosh, those black ABs. I don't know if you can see that. Look at those. Oh my goodness, those are so cool. Those are really cool. They look like an oil slick. <laughs> um, so, or they look like flies eyes. I don't know, I can't, it's hard to describe. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, I just keep skipping it because I hadn't done this piece of, you know, what needs to happen, at least in my head, um, to pull them out and then sit them next to the canvas and be like, oh yes, yes, let's grab that color, you know, that type of thing. So. It's finally happening today because um, I'm working on Soul of the Rose uh, from Distracted by Diamonds. It's, I think John William Waterhouse uh, painting. And I'm almost to the part where I'm going to get to her hair and that kit doesn't have any ABs. And even though it is an old masters and I, I think, you know, ABs can be a little bit much on an old masters kit, I think think I could get away with doing just a little bit of highlighting maybe with this deeper red if that that colors in there or this red I just kind of want to see um, what I have and maybe I can work in just a little bit just to kind of embellish it slightly so yeah um, all right so we've done 310 these are all sixes so we've got more three tens here. These are from, like I said, dis these are from Distracted by Diamond. So might be slightly different iridescent, but um, I think the black is black. I don't think the shade's gonna be that far off by any means. So I don't mind, I don't think I need to mark them as like, these are the Distracted by Diamonds ones. Ooh, woo, woo. Um, I think it'll be fine. So let's see, did I spill those everywhere? Wow, surprisingly, that was not a huge accident. <laughs> Okay, I think this is gonna have to go in multiple containers. So let's just do that for now and see where we get. Um, as you can tell, this, like I said, is a very beginner, me learning and just kind of improv improvising this as we go. So that's a lot of 310. Okay, so we're gonna have to do a little surgery here to get this, get this here. This here. Come on, open, my friend. Oh, wrong side. Okay, and open. And let's go ahead and pop the rest of those in there. Okay. So yeah, I'd love to hear how you all um, kit, or I guess, do your storage and organization, how you would approach this, um, because maybe you would have a different method than I am using right now. Um, here's all my my empty bags like I used to before I had Apollo when I would do like kidding up and kidding down and all that stuff I would just chuck all the plastic to the floor and then when I was done with my kidding up or whatever I was doing I'd just go go and clean it all up but now that I've got a little alligator that likes to chomp on everything I can like nothing can hit the ground so I have to like find a place for stuff in the meantime. So it looks like I've got three containers. Oh, there's a little AB sitting there. I don't know if you can see that straggler. Ooh, I love 310 AB. That's beautiful. Okay, so I've got three of those. So A, B, 310, A, B, 310, and A, B, 310. Perfect, okay. Paulo, sit down. I don't, you're looking shifty. Sit down, baby. Thank you. Okay, so there's that first set there. Pop that in there, and then next one here. Cool. All right, so I guess, I guess I still need that. Okay, next up we have, um, looks like 321, which is this red color. Da -da. So we're just going to pop this open. Yeah. Something's going on. 
don't know if you can hear that, but there's some sort of alert happening on my phone. Uh oh. Um, okay, so 321. Pop that in here. Da, da, da. I wish that I could find a, even though I don't mind this collapsible silicone funnel, I don't really need it to collapse. <laughs> and I feel like the silicone maybe catches the um, the coating on ABs a little bit more than if it was like a hard plastic. So I might have to hunt down just like a hard plastic, regular old um, funnel. AB321, okay. There we go. And sticker and open. So it's just kind of this process over and over again. Um, okay, so it looks like 333. Ooh, look at that one. Nice. Okay. This in here. Boom. These drills, as far as like quality goes, look very nice. I know that uh, DP with sparklers and Tima is kind of like the uh, the Cadillac of specialty drills, so I shouldn't be surprised. But like, I'm not seeing any like weird bits and pieces of plastic floating in the bags. They're all like perfect square drills. So now this is A, B, three, three, three. Okay. And then we've got that last one, which was our loose bag, 352. Set that aside. I wonder if I could dump these in here without using the funnel. I, I don't want to risk it. Okay, there's that. And then, oh, you know what I probably could do since this is already open? Can I do that? Uh, no, that's not that effective. Oh, oh. That's going to take a while. Maybe I can do this. Ooh, I wonder if I could do this on all of them rather than using the funnel. Let's skip a step. And just chomp these. Oh, yeah. Maybe let's try that. Let's see if that works. So I don't know if you saw what I just did there, but um, this is the bag that was already loose, or it already had a cut in the bottom, so it was leaking these drills. And I was thinking, how do I get rid of the funnel? I think what I can do is just clip the corner out of the plastic bag and just dump them straight from the plastic bag into the container. I think that might actually work. It skips a step, it skips the funnel step. So now I've got these drills in this bag, which has this weird fold. It's not really gonna be super easy to cut in the corner. So I think what I'm gonna do to get these out rather than trying to just dump them on the table is grab a, sorry, I'm coming around. I'm gonna grab a diamond painting tray. You see that? And then try it like this. There we go because those would have been a pain to get out of such a big bag. Um, come on, there you go. Did you fill out? Okay, I think that's all of them. So now we can take our tray, ideally, and just tap those bad boys in. Boom, okay, cool. So yeah, just stuff like this, it's like, I would, I think it would be helpful for me if I had was just starting, oh, there's some Lucy's over here too. To kind of see someone like <laughs> troubleshoot some of this stuff in real time, um, rather than like sit here and fuss with it. Um, and some people might be doing this and they don't have like, you might be thinking, oh, like I should pick up maybe a larger diamond painting tray so I can like catch bigger, you know, more drills or maybe I need to get some containers. So it's, just, I think it's helpful just to see someone walk through the process, even though, like I said, I am, very much a beginner so um, this is just kind of me kind of thinking it through as we go and it's always helpful to film it i feel like i'm more of an active thinker of like problem solving rather than just getting frustrated because i'm like we have to keep filming i can't just say forget it i'm done today <laughs> you know so um looks like we've got 400s now so we're at 414 Ooh, we're gonna try the new process so um, bag upside down zipper closed we're gonna just slice that corner of that bag and then 
ideally be able to just pour it. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, forget you, Funnel. We don't need you today. 414. Okay, cool. That was much faster. So we're going to write A, B. 4, 1, 4. Perfect. Awesome. So that goes there. This dog is like, this is the most boring thing you've ever made me do, Dad. I know, I'm sorry, baby. I'll be done soon enough and we can go for a walkie. Okay, 4.45. And, uh, amazing. Amazing. I love that these are not staticky. Um, kudos to DP with sparklers because I haven't had to reach for the dryer sheet yet. And and distracted by diamonds. That Those black ABs were just fine. So there's that. Okay, moving on to our 500s. Calling all 500s, 550. There's those. The other thing that I've been noticing is my camera. So I've been using my phone, but I've been, I've been trying various different cameras, or I'd like to try different camera angles just because I feel like I haven't quite mastered it and I still need to work on lighting and stuff. But today I decided, let me, oh, I really like these, that like purple AB, that's really nice. Um, I decided, let me grab my actual like vlogging camera that I used to use when I was doing skincare videos um, and try to set that up. So that's what we're using today. But I've noticed that um, the battery on it doesn't last as long as it used to. I've had it for like two years now, so maybe that's why. But um, yeah, I just feel like I used to be able to get like a solid like two hours, two and a half hours out of it. And now I'm lucky if it lasts like an hour. Um, okay, so we've got 600 next. Oh, I keep wanting to open the... I keep wanting to open the top of it when we're, we've already evolved past that, Anthony. So 600, kind of a nice hot pink kind of fuchsia. I'm just gonna clip the corner of that bag. Whoopsie, dropped one. And then give that a pour. Beautiful, beautiful. Get them forked out of that top. Okay, there we go, and that was 600. Next container. All right. 605 is next. That's kind of like a soft pink. Um, I really like that. I find it interesting that the shades, like the DMC color codes, they don't they don't follow like the shade of the color, if that makes sense. Like this is 605 that I'm working right now, but over here we have 963, which is also kind of a light pink. So I wonder why they're not in like actual order, you'd think like 605 is a pink, 606 would be the next pink, you know, like I like I doubt that there's 300 and something shades of like pinks and reds till we get to this one. I, I have always been curious like why it's not just like done from shade to shade, if that makes sense. Like all your reds, all your pinks are the same color or the same code. 605, but I know it has something to do with cross stitch, so maybe like I don't know. And I'm also curious, like, how many DMC colors are there? And are they still creating new ones? Like, you know, what, what, how many are there? Like thousands, hundreds? <laughs> I've always been curious about that. Um, one of the reasons why I'd like to know is because when I kit down into my containers, I'll, and I'll show you, oh, actually I have them tucked away. But when I kit down into my containers, I'm doing it by the DMC codes that I have from that kit at that time, if that makes sense. Like not every kit has every color. So I'm kitting down and, you know, putting them in order of DMC code. And then I go to um, kit down another kit. And now all my numbers are mixed up because I can't, like the only way to do that would be to peel off all the stickers and then reorganize them in the right order. But I feel like I'd constantly be doing that because every kit's gonna have like one or two new colors. So I'd love to know how many there are in existence. Buy enough of these to justify that. 
Okay, sorry about that. Of course, the uh, camera decided that it wanted to overheat, and I forgot that's another reason why I don't use this camera very often for um, just kind of stationary stuff. I used to use it for skincare videos, which were relatively short, um, and then um, for outdoor videos, so it's usually cool. But I kept working while we were going. I mean, it was pretty much rinse and repeat of what we were doing. Um, so there's the first set all done up. It looks like a beautiful rainbow. How cool is that? Look at all those ABs, that's so cool. Um, okay, so um, I'm moving on to the second um, second can or second container. Um, so these were the DAC ones or the Diamond Art Club ones. So we're just gonna do the rest of these. Um, eventually I'll probably have to have, unless I can figure out that conversion for Diamond Art Club um, ABs, I might have to have a separate set for those. Um, but for now I'll keep them together. So um, I was saying before we got cut off that I'd love to know how many DMC codes there are for like floss for cross stitch and therefore diamond painting because if it's if it's too much obviously I probably wouldn't be able to do it but I'd love to have enough of these containers to have one of every color and then if I have like let's say I have a 310 and a 321 then I would leave those next spaces blank until 321 that way if I ever did come across those other colors they already have a home and I don't have to reorganize it's all numerical that would be the dream who knows if how practical that is depending on how many colors there are but that's in my head the only way to like get this right so have a set for every single DMC color and then have a second set for all of the ABs of those same colors. And, and that would just be for squares and then all over again for rounds. So essentially four sets of zero through however many DMC colors there are. But if it continue, if it's evolving and they're always adding colors, then I don't know if that really makes sense because at some point I'd have to readjust that whole thing. So let me know in the comments if you are familiar with, um, the DMC codes and colors and if that is something that's set in stone and it's already done or they're constantly adding new shades or changing numbers I'd love to hear kind of like what that looks like the behind the scenes a little bit so yeah um, so we're coming up on um, the last few of our regular ABs and then we've got some other specialty drills that I'm going to be um, organizing into these kits as well sorry I was doing that over here and then when I, the camera turned off, I brought it a little bit closer, but, um, so that's AB3812. That's really pretty. So what I'm going to do now is, now that these are all set, when I'm working on my normal kit, and um, I'm going to do this in a separate video probably, but when I'm working on my normal kit, I'm going to prop these containers up kind of at the end of the table. That way all the numbers are facing out at me. And if I ever come across an area of a kit where I'm like, ooh, I, I want to embellish this or add a little bit of AB magic to this color or this section, um, then I already have them kind of facing me and I can just kind of essentially browse my AB collection in real time and say, ooh, there's that same uh, DMC color or DMC code. Let me grab that and pop a couple of those drills on here. So that's kind of the uh, the goal. Um, that way I can actually start doing that because that was the intention when I bought this sampler pack is to just kind of try my hand at making some adjustments or um, embellishments to my kits, but they just sat in a drawer since I unboxed them. So this is kind of me saying, you're doing it. You're going to get a little bit more creative with your kits. Put your own stank on them and enjoy these awesome drills from DP with sparklers because they look beautiful. Literally zero, zero trash. This is incredible. Um, so there's that AB 3862. Okay, great. There's that one. And then we've got... AB 5200, so there's that. I'm really, this was so much faster, I'm not using the, uh, I'm just doing this, a little shake, shaky shake, and then once again, snip that corner and dump them in. There we go. That's a lot faster than using that funnel. <laughs> um, the funnel works when you're using like container to container or larger amounts of drills, but this, is, this seems just fine. 
So that was A, B, 5200. Okay. So now we have our specialty, extra special drills. I'm gonna go ahead and start those on a new container. So we'll start here um, because I think I'm gonna need more than one. Um, so I've got these silver metallic, gold metallic, and gunmetal metallic drills. I thought these would be excellent to embellish jewelry or uh, things like that, um, just to add a little bit of shine. I did use a few of these on the Midnight Laundromat canvas. Um, she had the vampire in the laundromat had like a ring on, so I put some gunmetal metallics on that ring in place of the grays. So, um, so these aren't DMC um, coated, they're just gold, silver, gunmetal. So I'm just gonna write um, gunmetal metallic or something like that. Um, that way I don't get confused. So let's see how well this works this time. Okay, that's pretty good. We can see that. Okay, that's pretty full. There is a little bit of trash in this one, but pretty minimal. I might be able to show you when we're done. I'm, look, I'm just happy that they're not like incredibly staticky. It's just a slight amount of static. There you go. <laughs> so you can see, I don't know if you can see that, just some little bits and bobs in there. Nothing too crazy. But these just have that kind of metallic look to them. Okay, so we're gonna write on this one. Gun metal metallic. Three of those. Sorry, I should be talking. Hi, um, I'm like focusing on writing. Um, okay, so yeah, I thought these would be really good for jewelry on canvases or anything that had like bright gold or looked like it was more metallic to add that extra embellishment to it, um, just rather than doing just the gray. So as you can, hopefully you can see that gunmetal metallic, boom. Um, so I think we'll just do those and then we'll do these. Oh, you know what else I'm going to put in here? Um, we'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. I've got another specialty drill. Um, okay, so we've got our uh, silver metallic. There's those. And let's flip it and dump it. So there's that. Um, there's a canvas that I just ordered. I, it's called Zodiac, and I think it's Alphonse Mucha. Uh, from Distracted by Diamonds. I've just been, oh my gosh, these are, look at that. Whoa, those are crazy. Let's see if I can get it to really focus. Oh my goodness, how cool. Especially in the light. Wow, they're like sh literal diamonds. Ooh, I really, I can't wait to use these. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Um, so I got the, this kit from Distracted by Diamonds called Zodiac for, by Alphonse Mucha. Um, it seemed like it was a pretty hard to come by kit um, from the company. Um, and I just so happened to be on Etsy uh, this morning, uh, just kind of browsing. And I was like, I think they do their drops at like, uh, I think it was like 10 a.m. Eastern, which is like 8 a.m. my time. It's like, I'm just gonna hop on and see. And that kit was on there and I there was one in stock and I was somehow managed to snag it. So that one seems to have a lot of like golds and metallics and some more like jewel, maybe some like reds. And even though that's a, again, an old masters, I think there might be some space for it to be highlighted with some of these fun, more fun metallic drills. So this is silver metallic. Silver metallic. Great. Just mark these up. Apparently I can't talk while I'm writing. Metallic. Okay. Perfect. So got three of those. Now I'm excited to see what those gold look like because that silver is hot, hot, hot. Love it. Love it. Okay. And we'll leave that last one open just in case I have something else silver metallic in the future, but there you go. Next, boom, boom, boom. So I guess I only need those three. So now we have our gold metallic. This is like, I don't know why I enjoy getting up 
or like organizing so much, but it's just like fun to like get everything in its place. And like anytime I can throw out like baggies and like stuff like that and just know that they're not, they're not sitting in like a, in my shelving unit or in storage anymore. Just knowing that everything's kind of like in its place and organized. It's like such a relief for me. <laughs> it's like such a stress reliever. Like having this bag of just like haphazard drills sitting in there, even though I did have them in a bag organized or at least kept together, it was still a lot. Like um, I have a, a diamond art club kit that I did an unboxing of and two of the bags of colors fell behind my little table here and I didn't find them till I don't know. I don't even, I don't know how long they had been sitting down there because I've done a number of unboxings. Um, and I found them because I was cleaning up at, um, down under there to make sure there was nothing down there for Apollo to gnaw on. And I was like, I have no idea what kit these went to. Like, I don't know. And I was like, there's no way I'm going to go through all my bags of drills that I have set, you know, from unboxings and be able to identify it. So I'm like, I, I guess I'm just going to hold on to them in whatever kit they belong to. Um, I'll be missing drills and I'll need to remember to not yell at Diamond Art Club, but to go check that. <laughs> and it's like, it gave me like a little bit, like it made me a little bit anxious and it still does knowing that there's like two colors just sitting, <laughs> sitting there without their home. So that's the type of person I am. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I like to keep everything relatively organized or just like condense, like I like everything together. I don't like things in a bunch of different places. So having the, all these drills kitted up essentially and ready to be used um, will be really nice. Okay, gold metallic, I need one more of those. Whoopsie, gold metallic. Okay, perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and pop that on there. And there we have gold metallic. Awesome. All right, two more, everyone, two more. We're almost there. So the next one I'm super excited about, this is 712, which is like the off-white, but these are AB Jelly Glows. So these are glow-in-the-dark drills, but they also have like a jelly feel to them. So they're not like, there's just like a little bit more of an opaqueness. They're not like crystal. They're not like solid. They've got a little bit of like, you can kind of see through them a little bit. So I'm curious to see how that's gonna look like on a canvas and if you're gonna be able to see all the symbols through them. But um, I got these specifically for a canvas which I have yet to unbox. Actually, I wouldn't mind them in pretty much any like space or galaxy painting or kit, but there is a kit that isn't space or galaxy that I got recently that I really wanna add some glow in the dark to, so. Oh, there we go. Ba -ba. Those were not staticky at all. They just slipped right through. They're really cool looking. If you can see, see that they've almost, they almost look like little bits of jelly. <laughs> um, okay, cool. So um, I'm gonna write, I don't really necessarily care about the jelly piece. Um, I could take that or leave it. So I don't know if I'm gonna differentiate them as being jelly. For now, um, since I know these are my only glow-in-the-dark drills, I'm just going to write um, A, B, 7, 1, 2, glow. So they're glow and they're A, B. And they're jelly. But I'm not going to write the jelly part. Okay. A, B, 7, 1, 2, glow. <laughs> A, B, 7, 1, 2, oh, okay. I think that's the last time you're gonna hear me repeat the same thing every time I write the sticker, but apparently my brain can't process more than that today. So, A, B, 7, 1, 2, glow. I think those would make good stars or just, you know, I don't know, I think they'd be fun in a number of different things. There's a particular canvas that I especially have in mind, but I'll mention it when we do the unboxing. Last but not least, we have our quad cubes. These are gunmetal quad cubes. So quad cubes are a drill that is the size of four square or four round drills. So these would make really good additions. Why did I just do that? I wanted to show you. <laughs> I could have just taken out one. Um, but that's what they look like. And they're the size of four drills. 
but they would I think they would do really well for like eyeballs or like some sort of focal piece essentially um, but they're nice and big um, I'm trying to think of where if I have anything right now that I would use them on oh I was also thinking for like a star like starlit painting or like a galaxy painting if there's like four of the same kind of silver color or white color to make up a star I thought this would be really cool and then maybe so like kind of have some of the glow drills around it I don't know I I just thought they'd be fun to kind of play with at a certain point um I'm curious to see how they'll pick up because they are they're heavy like these are big old pieces of plastic um, with that coating on it. So um, I'm just gonna, don't mind me, I'm just scooting them off the table into my hand. They're big enough that they just kinda slide right off. I do not know why I dumped all those on the table. Why did I think that was a good idea? We're just, this is literally, this is what I'm doing today. They are really pretty. Okay, so got all my quad cubes in there. So I'm gonna write gunmetal Gun metal quad cube. Okay, so that's everything. Pop that on there. Whoopsie, no, no, I refuse to rewrite you. Okay, um, okay, so that's that. Gun metal quad cubes, there they are, and I put them with the gun metal squares, so all that colors together. So there you go, that is, um, a sampler kit plus a couple extras, the metallics, the glows, and the quad cubes were not part of the sampler kit from DP with Sparklers. Um, they, I just got those separately, but they are, all of them are from DP with Sparklers, if that makes sense. Um, so that's kind of how I have my um, ABs organized right now. So what I'm gonna do is just lean them up against the wall like that. And then as I'm diamond painting, if I'm working on a portion of the canvas and I'm like, ooh, you know, I might wanna do some, ABs, or even when I'm working, uh, kitting up the kit and I can see the entire canvas, I'm gonna pull these out and set them down next to the canvas as I'm kitting up and say, oh, okay, so that's 666, and that's where it is on the canvas. I wouldn't mind some ABs there. And so then I can um, know that when I get to that, I have it, or just pull this out and set it um, next to the, the regular 666s. Okay, sorry about that. Camera died again. So we're gonna we're gonna wrap this up. I now I know why I use my phone. Um, so um, I'm gonna use these while I'm either kitting up a new kit or as I'm working on it to identify where I might be wanting to do a little bit of embellishment. Um, hopefully this gave you some idea of how you might want to kit up any um, drills that you purchase a la carte from other companies or maybe what to do with some of your spare drills. Um, but this is kind of what's been working for me. Like I said, I'll leave links to both DP and Spark with Sparklers as well as um, these containers if, that, if that's still available on Amazon. I'll provide all of that. Otherwise, let me know if you have any questions, need any clarification on things. Um, and I'll probably be doing a separate video talking about how I would go through the process of identifying where to add some embellishments as well. So there's that. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and please feel free to share this video and my channel, Single and Placing, um, with any friends, family members, or anyone you think might find it useful. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, happy placing. Bye!